All right, March 22nd, uh, 2021, uh, class from 9 to 10, Intermediate 3. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, conditional sentences, uh, verbs and their uh, antonyms, as well as models in the past tense. Okay, so that's the topic. This is our 13th class. This is our final week uh, in order to complete all of the activities. Joel, how are you? Hey, teacher. I'm pretty good. What about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good, actually. Uh, you know, it's Monday. It's Monday. We only have a few classes left. Can you? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then? And then the vacation. Vacation. <laughs> Yeah. So what do you what do you usually do on vacation? Well, usually we travel, but because it's a little difficult to travel, like um, we have gone vacation. Um, usually we go out of the country. We've gone to like Guatemala, Honduras, things like that. But this year we're um, same as last year, kind of because of the of the COVID. We're just gonna. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna travel here in the country. We're gonna probably we're well not probably we will we will go to um, the country uh, which is the, the rural areas. Uh, we're gonna go two days. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go out two days to a rural area where um, my wife's uh, mother, my mother-in-law, she has a house. Yeah. Uh, she has a house on in the country, which is nice. It's oh, a really? Nice, yeah, it's a nice house. Yeah, it's so nice. And it's, you know, there's a lot of trees and uh, a lot of green areas. The, there are not a lot of houses nearby. There's a lot of space for, you know, a big garden and they have a swimming pool. So we go there for a couple of days. Um, then I probably go one day to the beach. And I really, Joel, I want to go to San Miguel. You know, I, I'm not from San Miguel. I, and my family is not from San Miguel or anybody, but I want to go to this place that I saw in Instagram. And Instagram Which is, one? is called uh, El Espíritu de la Montaña. Uh, and what is, what is that? What kind of it, place? It's the volcano of Conchagua. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then you, have... you can see in the pictures. I, I, in the yes, picture, you, you can, can see, see the Golfo. Yeah, you can right? see. Golfo, you can see Nicaragua, you can see Honduras, yeah. you can see all of these countries. And, and, and you can and you can camp there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can camp there. I'm not sure if we're going to camp there because, to be honest, I don't have a tent. I don't. I don't go camping, so I don't really have a tent for for camping. But. Um, maybe they rent sometimes in these places they rent tents so yes yes they do i think that with the covid they won't rent tent because it's too dangerous to have to clean and to disinfect and yeah. everything so i think because of the covid they don't rent tents but i i want to go there but that one i don't know because it costs more money because to go there a uh, to visit the Spiritu La Montaña, you need transportation, you need to... Uh, yes, and it's a little bit, uh, you know, far away. Yeah, it's far away. You have to you have to organize it maybe two days. Maybe you need to stay in, in, in a hotel or, or, yeah. or, or camping. So may, maybe that one, I'm not sure. I want to, but I don't know yet. But 
definitely go to uh, my mother-in-law because well one is free and there's a swimming pool so yeah. so, so to be <laughs> really <laughs> A, a, a private swimming pool is, you know, I don't have to pay for it. It's nice. Yes, yes. I uh, and, got it. And in, in her house, they have um, like a little area for camping. They have an area where they can have, where they have fire, like a little campfire. And you can have... Really? Yeah, no, it's really nice. That's, they have, that, that sounds great. It is. They have an area for campfire and the children normally make hot dogs and they have... Um, they, they cook hot dogs there and they have the the tree they cut when they cut the trees in the in in the forest near there they create the trunks the yeah the trunk of the tree so what they did uh -huh. is with the trunk they they made little benches and little seats and then they put a, a cover a little cushion yeah so that when the when everybody's around the fire everybody can sit on the tree and have a cushion and and talk and tell stories and there are no lights because it's in the in the rural community yeah. so that you know there's not a lot of houses or near or a lot even, even the houses they are blocked with other trees and others so you can see the stars very nice and you can see the sky very beautifully so yeah that's true probably, and it's truly different in in that yeah. kind of place in the sky yeah, completely. The sky is different. the The noises are different. You hear the little animals, the the crickets, yeah. tum, 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 and the, all of these little <laughs> yeah. things. So, I, I gotta be honest. For me, I, I maybe it's not the the most amazing, but it's it's so relaxing. So for me, just just that, just to leave the city, no buses, no no cars, no beep, beep, dan, 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 uh -huh. <laughs> el pan, el pan, la, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, eh, <laughs> just, just that alone is, is a good way for me to relax. That's what okay. I plan to do. What about you, boy? Tell me about you. What, what are your plans for the vacation? Well, I don't have a plan yet, but yeah, maybe going to the beach is, it's one of the things I'm going to do because I love the ocean, but I'm not sure yet in which, uh, which uh, date, mm -hmm. which date, and you know maybe uh, I will go to my my grandma house in Suchitoto too and spend some days there too. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all. Suchitoto is nice. I haven't. Is it near the lake? the house of of my grandma's yes grandma house yes sir. it's no it's about four kilometers okay but it's the same town so if i want to go it won't take me more than 10 minutes to be in the lake yeah that's nice right only that the for me the only problem with suchitoto i don't know why because it's far but suchitoto is expensive the 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 restaurants in the lake, they are yeah. <laughs> they, they are expensive. Boy. Like, like it's not like in El Salvador where if you want to be cheap, you can go to a cafeteria and go. But in Suchitoto, no man, they they yeah, have... it's expensive. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. The I, drinks I, and the food, everything it's it's expensive. Yeah, like you want to have a, a, a here, maybe you go to a cafeteria for two dollars, three dollars for for chicken. And Suchitoto, ten dollars. Holy cow! Or more, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So for me, that I like Suchitoto. I have I have been there a couple times. Um, there is a famous painter, if I remember, uh, Fernando Yort, I think is the name, right? Really, I didn't know that. I think it's I, if I remember. Yeah, correct, it's Fernando Yort. He's yeah. a famous Salvadorian painter. Yeah, Fernando Yort has a gallery in Suchitoto. And he he has a lot of, uh, I think that's that's the one. I, I I'm almost positive. Mm -hmm. He's the one who died. So he yeah. uh -huh, he has a a place where you can buy a lot of a lot of things there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. I'm I'm pretty sure because I know. Uh, I'm gonna I'm looking it up right now, just to to make sure that okay. I'm not that I'm not lying to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Well, as I told you, I'm not sure because there's a lot of uh, cultural stuff there. So, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says Suchitoto. That's right. I, 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 that way, it, that's what it says in Wikipedia. What, what is the name of the of the building of the place? Um, I, I just put Fernando Yort, and it, it says in Suchitoto. It, it says El Arbo oh, okay. de El Arbo de Dios is the gallery here in San Salvador, but he has um, also over there. So, mm -hmm. his uh, his for Salvadorian, he's a famous artist, right? Yes. Maybe not so much internationally, but ah, who cares? We're Salvadorian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. There. All right, Luis, what about you? What are your plans for the vacation next week? What are you going to be doing? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any plan yet, but I like to go to the beach with my wife and my daughter. Uh, or, or I don't know, or, or go to the mountain. I like it, be there. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know, rent a cabin, uh, take a rest during whole the day. Yeah, that's what we we're talking with Joel, that really it's, it's necessary to escape the city. It's necessary to go out, to, to go to the beach, to, to go to the mountain, but, but something, but you have to do something in the vacation. Uh, it's true, but uh, I I want to go uh, since uh, after the 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 pandemic. Uh, <laughs> I got you going to the beach. Uh, you never go. That the pandemic is going to continue for like an, for one more year. <laughs> 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 but we, we, we care, we care, we care for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we care for. <laughs> that's all, that's all you can do is try to be careful. And that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, who else is here? Can you hear me? Is it the same number of the last class? Yeah, I think so. Hey. Siete cuatro ocho ocho. Can you hear? Hello, hello. Maybe it's going to be a mystery. I don't know. Hola, hola. Ahí. Hola, hola, Mr. Ah, Edwin. How you doing, Mr. Good, and you? How are you? Uh, still alive, amigo. Still ah, alive. Still yes. alive. Ah, si casi nunca te vemos, huh? <laughs> no, I've been very worried, you know, very, very sorry. I, I have been very, very busy. Ah, yes. With work. Sometimes I have time, sometimes I don't, you know. It's okay. Uh, the work is first. I, first is the money. I'm always <laughs> working on the platform. Uh, I have already finished. Yes, uh, I already complete all the platform. Really? Thanks to my lord. Yes, sir. Wow! Congratulations! Congratulations! That's great. That's great. We are talking with Luis and Joel about the the plans for the vacation. What plans do you have for the vacation? Hola, hola. Sorry. Yeah. So, what, what plans do you have for vacation? Oh, what plan I have? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm just planning. Maybe uh, we have time. We and we can get money. Maybe to the beach. Ah. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what Luis said in Hoel today. Ah, it, it's, <laughs> even if it's one day, or maybe only one day, but it's necessary. It's necessary. Yes, it's an obligation, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and do you have children? Do you have children? Uh, uh, yes, but they are already, you know, there are uh, teenagers now. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, yes. Because when you have children, when they are young, ah, they say, dad, dad, let's go, let's go out, let's go out. And then, ah, you, you have to find miracles to go out. 
Yes, when I have little boys, it's uh, no problem. But you know, you you are more busy with them because uh, uh, small babies, you know. Mm -hmm. yes. It's yeah. different. Yeah. How about you? Do you have a small uh, little boys? No. Um, not so much. My the youngest, the youngest is thirteen. So not so young because I have twenty two. 17 and 13 so mm, not so young <laughs> ah okay yes now they are adults you know? yeah pretty much they imagine my the, the 117 this year is 18 is uh, i yeah. like i like or i don't like as an adult this year they have a doing <laughs> so uh, how old are you Edwin? i'm 41 and you look like 60 no 60. <laughs> That's how it is. Stay no, job. Just kidding, man. No, I'm just kidding, man. No, no problem. No problem. Uh -huh. All right. No. Uh -huh. I want to I wanna tell you something very important. Okay. This is like twice, uh, two times that uh, this uh, teleperformance, teleperformance is calling me from the office. Mm -hmm. And I have trying and I have trying to, you know, to pass the not the examination, but you know the conversation that we had before with them. But every time they told me that I need to improve and try to be a little better with the grammar, with the grammar, mm -hmm. and I don't know. But uh, first time this was maybe two months ago. Now. And this morning they called me back, but the same. I don't know. And the guy that is that uh, he was asking me about some questions. <clears throat> uh, I think that I respond correctly and everything was good for me. But I don't know. Every time they say uh, you need to improve and to be a little better, more friendly, blah 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know. But. Uh, I don't know. It's a little for me. I don't know. Maybe uh, I think this a uh, little discrimination. <laughs> I'm not sure about this, but what can you tell me about that? Well, there's a couple of things. You have to think of it like this. Um, uh, do you drive a car? Sorry? A car. Can you drive a car? Mm, no. Okay. All right. So think about the, we'll think about it like a car. Okay, I will help you. Um, imagine you have a Toyota, and you say, "Hey, a Toyota is good. The Toyota is is nice. It functions. It it has good performance." But what happens if Joel needs the car for racing? What if he wants to go to NASCAR? The Toyota is not good. The car is good but it's not good for racing. So maybe this is the same thing with your English. Your English is good for normal, uh, for uh, maybe for dialogues or personal usage, but maybe is not good enough for what they need. For what they need, you have to be faster. You have to be uh, more fluent. You have to have a different pronunciation. And it's not that it's not good, just like the Toyota, but it's not, at is not the level that they need at that moment. All right. Mm -hmm. So don't don't feel bad. It's, it's not that you're not good. It's only that in this moment, they need a different level. Now, you said they tell you that you need to improve your grammar. Yeah, they call this. OK, OK. First, let's make sure we understand. What, what for you is the grammar? Maybe it's the... Uh, the verbs that you are uh, you are uh, using in the moment that is correctly used, you know. Okay. But sometimes vocabulary, uh, I don't know. Okay. All right. To change, you know, mm -hmm. change all the same words. I try to improve and try to mix. Uh, okay. Well, the grammar, 
Brahma is talking about the tenses, the times. So, for example, do you use present tense? Do you use past tense? Do you use the past participles? Do you have uh, the S? In, in, let, me, let me put let me put Luis in science because he's is no no is uh, microphone is very loud. Okay, so this is the grammar so the grammar is not only uh, the verb that you use but the grammar is also uh, the the different tenses for example third person past participles uh, auxiliaries models these are all of these are the grammar tenses i don't know what questions they ask you and maybe your your answers are okay but if they tell you is you need improving grammar then you have to pay attention to are you pronouncing the D's or the T's in the past tense? Are you using the S with a he and she? Or do you confuse he and she or different things? This is the idea for the grammar. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I said, it's not, it's just, it's not that you're not good. It's just that they need a different level and you have to keep going and, and keep practicing. Yeah, the same uh, question he, uh, he asked me the last, Last time was uh, tell me something about your life, about yourself. Mm -hmm. Explain me something. Tell me about your life. You speak me something different about your, your yourself. And I start to talk. You know, blah 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 blah. But after, I don't know the same answer. He told me we will call you back. Maybe you need a little improvement to be a little better with the grammar and this like this this like that and okay, okay thank you very much thank you know and, and you say, should you should be happy because if they called you two months ago and they call you today is because really they think that you only need a little bit more because yeah. imagine, if not they never call you imagine you apply and they say ah thank you we call you they this is many many times the call centers they tell the people, thank you, we're going to call you. And they never call. They yeah. never call. So if, if they call you, it's because, yes, the person who interview you think that you are almost, you are almost at this level. And they think a little, a little bit more practice, a little bit more fluency. And they gave you two months. Maybe they, okay. call you, maybe they call you again another two months. But that means that you have to put in the work and say, okay, I need to put in for faster more fluent, prepare my answers, things like that. Okay, Edwin. All right. I'll, I'll be ready and I'm gonna fall down for this, okay? Exactly, exactly. No, you are doing good. You have to continue. And, okay. All right, and we are going to continue as well. We're going to be looking at today's lesson and we're going to start off a little bit with um, a review from last week. Last week, we were looking at unconditional sentences. And the unconditional sentences, this is from 5.3, 5.3 in the platform. And here we have, if we remember, we use the words with if, and we use the past tense because we use the past tense to indicate we are imagining the situation. We are thinking about it, okay? What would you do, okay? Uh, if, okay, so the if, and we have different options. I would, I could, I might, and I wouldn't. I would is, this is my decision. I could is, this is a possibility. possibility. I'm, uh -huh, a possibility. I might is like a maybe, maybe I do this, right? Is I'm not sure, my decision. And I wouldn't is, I am not going to do this. I would is, I am going to do this. And I wouldn't is, I'm not going to do this. So this is kind of what we saw last week. We were looking at this last week and we're using these to just to give our opinion, to give uh, what we do in these situations. If I found money, if I found 750,000, I would buy everyone pupusas, ha, okay? <laughs> or I could, I could go on a trip, right? Um, I might, uh, I might return the money. Probably not, but I might, okay? Or in the case of negatives, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anyone. It's, in El Salvador, it's dangerous. 
Imagine if I say, hey, I, am, I have 750,000. I am a millionaire. Hmm. In El Salvador, the next day, you disappear. I couldn't return this money. Exactly, exactly. So this is the idea that we saw. Before we continue with today's topic, are there any questions for this? Any questions about the conditional sentences from last week? Okay. Anyone have any questions? Anybody have anything that is not clear? Okay, let's see what we have. No, all right, perfect. Thank you. All right, so let's continue then. So in today's topic, we're going to learn at verbs and specifically to describe, we're gonna be looking at antonyms. So the first words we have here is, we're going to watch a small video and then I'm gonna explain what we're going to do. So first let's watch this short video. To know about antonyms and synonyms help increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept. Admit. Accept. Agree. Admit. Agree. Borrow. Agree. Deny. Borrow. Disagree. Deny. Dislike. Disagree. Divorce. Dislike. Enjoy, find, Enjoy. forget, find. lend, forget. lose, lend. marry, lose. refuse, marry. Marry. remember, refuse, save, remember, spend, save. spend. Save. spend. All right. So let me let me pronounce the words one more time, and that way it's clear. Okay. So I'm going to repeat the words, and you can practice. Okay. Accept. Okay. Accept. 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 Mm -hmm. Accept. Okay, good. Admit. 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 Good. Agree. Agree. Borrow. Borrow. Deny. Deny. Mm -hmm. Disagree. 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 No, uh, soft the e, a little bit softer. Disagree. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Disagree. Dislike. 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 Like. Good. Yes. Divorce. 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 Mm -hmm. Enjoy. 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 Find. 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 Forget. 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 Lend. 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 Forget. Land, land, lose, lose, marry, 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 refuse, marry, marry, marry. Refuse. It was marry, like marry. Yes. Marry, marry, marry. Remember. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Save. 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 Spend. 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 No, no, no tea. No tea. Spend. 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 Yes. Spend. With the spend. Okay. So, what are we going to do? Well, this is five point six in the platform or it's in the WhatsApp. It's also in your WhatsApp. You and your partners are going to match the antonyms. You're going to match the opposite. For example, here we have the first one as the example. The first one is accept 
and the opposite of accept is refuse, okay? So with your partners, you're going to find the other ones and you're going to match them. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. When you finish matching them, when you finish matching them, then you are going to use them in sentences. So first, match them. Second, use them in a sentence. So as an example, if Silvia, if Silvia is my partner, okay, and we match, accept and refuse, then Silvia uses accept in the sentence and I use refuse in a sentence, right? This is the idea, is that together, we are working together. So we match and if my partner uses one, I use the antonym. If my partner uses a different one, I use the antonym of that. Okay. Any questions? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's try it with our partners. Hi, good night. Okay, we can practice. Okay. Who has the screen? Uh, the platform. Pero haber sentido tu mamá. Ajá. Teacher, uh, share your screen in, in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. The, the picture is in the WhatsApp. Is the antonym in the WhatsApp? Or you can, if one of you is on the computer or even in the cell phone, you can share here on the screen. Mm -hmm. okay. did, did you see in the WhatsApp? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Allá. Aquí la tengo, lo que pasa es que yo, como ya la había terminado, ah. entonces, ajá, la puedo compartir así. El, pero, ¿cómo que ya? Ok, let me... Oh, oh, sí, yo, ella no vergea, no, okay. Share, let me see. Uh -huh. Ok. Let me, let me share. Ok, share. No okay. This is. Uh, es que yo me te, tuve que regresar. Ajá. No, no. Estaba tardando. Entonces no. aquí le doy clic para que lo oigamos. O solamente vamos. Eh, o, hacerle clic. No, eh, no lo tienen que escuchar. Solo tienen que cuando aparezca. No, todo no, Cuando, apare cuando aparezca todo, ahí le pone pausa y no hay problema. Ajá. Incluso lo puedes adelantar. Ah, okay. uh -huh. A ver, ahorita. The following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully. Aquí. Exacto, exacto. Y ahí okay. son los antónimos. Ok. Ok. Y ahí practicamos, ¿verdad? See, uh, so two activities. One, the antonyms, okay? So accept, example, accept, refuse. And then the sentence. I accept a, I accept a new job. Uh, I accept, yeah. okay? And my partner, Carla, or, or you, Jesse, or have the opposite. You, uh, you make the sentence with refuse. I refuse, I refuse to go to the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
¿Qué refuse, teacher? Perdón. The opposite of accept. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Rechazar. Hey, good, good Spanish. I like it. It's native. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Sil. Thank you. <laughs> okay. But you can check this. Yes. Yeah. Recheck re there, no problem. So, uh, we we wait with. Safe is spend the right word. Yeah. Save and spend. Yes. Spend. There it is. Let me see. Spend is gastar. And save is ahorrar. Save. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's it. Recheck there. Maybe we already finished everything. I'm not sure. You know. We have to create sentences using uh, the these words. Uh, okay. So, for example, the first one, accept. Okay. Well, I can I can make one sentence with accept. Okay. I accept opinions. I accept opinions, whatever they are. Okay. O sea, accept opiniones, no importa las que sean. Uh -huh. Okay. I accept, okay. I, accept, I accept opinion wherever they are. Okay, now you can construct one with refuse. Okay, it's the opposite. The opposite. The 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 opposition. Yes. Refuse. Okay. Yes. I refuse to listen reggaeton. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Or, okay. And yeah. you go with. Could you hear me? Yeah, Nuria. Ah, hello, teacher. How are you, teacher? I can hear you. No problem. What happened, Nuria? No, but I didn't hear to Luis. Ah, uh, yeah. Luis, can you hear us? Maybe he's gone? I have a problem with ah. my connection, the internet. I can't ah, hear. Don't ah. worry, Luis. I'm here. Okay, no problem, no problem. Teacher, mm -hmm. how yes. do you say piso? Cambiar piso, change. Flooring. Flooring. Pero yes. floor no es second floor, por ejemplo, second floor, third floor. Correct. No es nivel. Mm, eh, piso, second floor. Pero si yo me quiero referir a que cambié el piso o, o puse otro piso en la segunda planta. Flooring. Flooring. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, could, be say, could I say, I changed the flooring. Exactly. Ah, flooring. Ah, ok, uh -huh. ok, Luis, I changed the flooring. <laughs> Maybe... Okay, we, excellent. Okay. I was I was telling teacher to Luis that we have a mess at home in my house because we changed the flooring of the second level or second floor. Oh, okay. Then the house is dirty and destroyed and all many things, huh? Yeah, a lot of mess teacher. A lot of uh, dirty clothes, dirty ropa de cama, bed clothes, dirty bed clothes. Uh, dirty sheets. Sheets, ah, okay, so enough, okay. Mm -hmm. We have a, a lot of dirty sheets, dirty sheets, and we have to clean all the mess, teacher, since this are day, imagine. Uh, I imagine a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of things. I get a lot of, ¿cómo se dice? Basura, waste. Or no. gar garbage. Garbage, and uh -huh. we get a lot of garbage because mm -hmm. when you change things, you found things that you don't use mm -hmm. or you haven't used. 
That's true. Always, oh. always, when you clean or when you change, you find a yeah. lot of a lot of things that you say, hey, and this uh, is garbage. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah, it's, it's garbage. Yeah, yeah. My brother said me, no, no, yeah, you throw all my things, and because I, I throw, I, I throw a lot, almost no, casi diez pantalones, ocho pantalones, uh -huh. almost uh, eight pants. Eight pants. Pantalones or oh. yeah, pants. Uh huh. Pants. Yes, eight pants. Yeah, pants because. He doesn't wear it. He doesn't wear them. But he says that are good, are, are, in, are in good condition, but you don't wear it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a problem. Uh, I, I took a decision to throw them to the garbage dishes. It's your decision, Nuri. It's your decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was my decision. <laughs> All right. Good. Remember to match the words opposite and then use them in sentences. Okay. Could you explain that yes, about right. the picture? About the yes, picture. Yes, Hello. Yes, Luis. Hello. Luis. Yes. The, the exercise. The exercise is the the. Uh, to do to do sentences okay. using antonyms. Correct, correct. So from okay. the from the presentation, you match the words that are antonyms, and then you use them in sentences. The problem, teacher. I on my cell phone, and I don't have the picture. It's in the really cell phone. Is. It's in WhatsApp. Oh, really? It's in WhatsApp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really sorry, teacher. No I didn't hear. I yeah. didn't hear that. Yes, it's in the WhatsApp. No problem. Yeah, yeah, you're right, teacher. Okay, fine. I pairs of okay. Accept. Mm -hmm. Refused. Okay. And then we we go with divorce and marry. Okay. If I, you know, if I could have the if I could have the opportunity of divorce from my wife, I will do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Now you go with the man. Okay. Wait. Mary. Um, I will never get married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think uh, Rodrigo is in this room too. So, Rodrigo, do you, do you want to participate with the following words? Yes, maybe. Okay. So you can do the next one. Fine. You have to create a sentence. Well... I need to find some not not tools. Can you repeat, please, uh, Rodrigo? Yes. Yeah, you. All right, I, again. I need, to, I, I need to find some not a boot. Que podamos hacer oraciones con esas palabras. Que podamos conjugar y, y como descubrir como los antónimos o cosas similares ajá, para mejor fluidez del vocabulario. Ajá, exacto, no es que así sea la regla, porque ya cuando estemos hablando, cuando ya seamos unas máster, ya ni vamos a estar con la gramática la, la en la cabeza, ni nos vamos a acordar. Esperamos, que sí. Ay, sí. Primero Dios. Sí, sí primero Dios. <ríe> ok, vamos ya agarrando la idea. Y así el teacher nos pregunta, ya más o menos tenemos la idea. Ya, ya les voy a preguntar cuál es la idea. Sí. Y... Ahí está. Ahí está. Ah, vaya, pues. Pues sí, ya, ya, que tienen, no es... ya que tienen la idea, ya que están, ok, ¿cómo es? No, el teacher, es que no se mira usted ni se miran mis compañeras, yo la pantalla miro. Yo sé, mejor. Yo, pero yo sí las escucho a todas. Ah, 
Pero tienes razón, porque la gramática no es tanto, es importante agarrar la fluidez y, y estar con las palabras, el vocabulario. Lo malo es la tendencia y la necesidad que sienten de querer traducirlo. Y ahí, uh -huh. por más que uno les enseña, puede tener el máster mejor del mundo, pero si siguen con eso, nunca van a llegar al nivel de ser bilingües. Entonces, porque la, la idea es... I agree with you, teacher. Ay, Silvia. Mm, Silvia. La que estaba hablando hace unos minutos. Mm, Silvia. Mm. Así que, pero solo practiquen el vocabulario. Lo usa. Uno lo usa en positivo. Uno lo usa, por ejemplo, uno usa el... ¿Cuál es la siguiente? Admit. ¿Y cuál es el opuesto de admit? What's the, op the antonym of admit? De la O. Es el... Ay, aquí lo tengo. El opuesto es... Deny. Good. Deny. Deny. Ajá, deny. Así que, deny. Silvia, make a sentence with uh, admit. Jesse, make a sentence with deny. And then Carla, make a sentence with agree. And then Silvia, make a sentence with disagree. Y así van. Uh -huh. ah. Ay, que sí, nosotros con nos sentamos. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál me toca? Nos sentamos como que éramos poquitos. <risa> <risa> con la que nos salía la oración. <risa> con, con la que acaba. <risa> ok. Entonces sería, ¿cuál es la que me dijo que tengo Admit. Que hacer? Admit. 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 Mm -hmm. I have this gift for my birthday, the next uh, April. Okay. Okay. I okay. cannot, I cannot deny it because it's true. Exactly. Very good, Jesse. And go ahead, Carla. Um, I, def I forget for the antonyms for the question. Um, uh, what is it? You have agree, Carla. Agree. Uh, I agree uh, for my my friends in my Facebook. Okay, correct. You have to agree. Okay, good. And then Silvia is the antonym for you. And then each one changing and changing. Okay. Okay, I don't understand. No entendí. I don't understand, Silvia. Repeat, teacher. Yes. If Carla use agree. Then, Silvia, you need to use the antonym because you use uh, admit. So, Jesse, use the antonym. Esa palabra que quiere decir, eso es la última. No entiendo. La palabra que está ahí en negro, que dice a la par de word power, antonym. Antonym. What is antonym, Silvia? ¿De cuál teacher? La que estamos viendo en la pantalla. En el encabezado, dice. Uh -huh. Work power anthem. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es antonym? Antonym. Exactly, Silvia. Pero y. ¿Qué tengo que hacer ahorita? Lo mismo, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Oraciones con las palabras que están ahí. Exacto, pero esas palabras no son cualquier palabra. Mire el encabezado, ¿qué cree que son? Son antónimos. Exacto. Entonces, si un compañero dice una oración, tiene que hacer la oración con él. El... Con el contrario, con el antónimo de él. Exacto. ¿Cuál palabra usó Carla? Agree. ¿Y cuál vas a usar vos? Eh, Denny. No. Ya lo usamos. Disagree. 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 Mhm. Disagree. Mhm. Eh. Bueno, una oración con disagree. Ay. I'm not disagree by all toys for the children. Okay, repeat the sentence, Silvia. 
Ay, sí. <risa> Me quema el cerebro. <risa> Va. I don't disagree by the old toys for the children. Ok, ¿qué me quieres decir, Silvia? Que no estoy de acuerdo en comprarles todos los juguetes a los niños. Pero disagree no significa acuerdo. Lo que dijo Carla no. significa acuerdo. No, no estoy de acuerdo. Exacto. Pero Ajá. disagree no significa acuerdo. Esta es desacuerdo. Exacto. Vaya, teacher. Pero me dice... I disagree... ¿Sí? Exacto, no vas a decir I don't disagree, porque si no me estás diciendo yo no estoy no de acuerdo. Ah, I, ok, ok, uh -huh. I understand. Uh -huh. I disagree uh -huh. by that all toys for the children. Correct, Silvia. Ok. There you see. Uh -huh. Only practice, Silvia, only practice. Now, Jesse, and then continue. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Question, question um, for teacher, question for me, for Jesse, for and, <laughs> and the same okay. for, for the work. And then the same, um, it's a little bit and um, the same, um, the work. And just say this. Um, Oh no, this um the same the the work um question for the teacher. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, you try, relax, relax. Only with practice. Go slowly, slowly. Yes. You make one sentence, your partner make the antenna. Then the next partner, the new sentence. Okay. All right. So you need grammar, you blah, 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 blah. And maybe the guy, I don't know. Because yeah. I heard his, his pronunciation, his English, and I think he's learning like me, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, but what can we do? Yes. Well, yes. The, don't give up and keep trying and you're going to do it. We need to continue the game and after to get the perfection. No, the perfection, but just a little better. Right? This, is yeah. the, this is the game. That's it. Yes. A, a little better is the money. Only that's what you want. Yeah, sir. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You keep going and going. Remember, in El Salvador, have lots and lots of call centers. It's not only one. In El Salvador, in this moment, I give you 10 call centers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we have teleperformance, TA, we have uh, uh, office gurus, we have Sykes, we have uh, Indigo, we have uh, Black Ops. We have, woo, in El Salvador, we have a lot of call centers. We have the office gurus. We have we have so yeah. many. We have so many call centers. Don't worry. If you if you want to work, you apply to a different one. Yes, there's gonna be one opportunity, but I don't want to lose. You know, you know my my perception. Yeah. The, uh, and remember that in, in El Salvador, many call centers have an academy where you go for training four hours a day or eight hours a day for one month or three months to help you improve the English faster. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, last week, last week began two trainings, four hours a day, four hours in the morning um, for one group and four hours in the afternoon for three months for free to improve the English for the people that need a little bit more in the call center Indigo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the same for that, there's a call center teleperformance. There is a call center that the, with the academy sites. There's a call center with uh, many different academies, the office group, all of the academies have different centers. Mm -hmm. We need to have patience, yeah, okay? You can do it, just patience and continue working, that's it. Okay, teacher. 
All right. Uh, okay. Hey, Joel, any questions? No, teacher, everything is clear for me. Okay, Thanks. you're welcome. Rodrigo, any questions? It's good, thank you, yes. Okay, good. It's like the other people, they don't want to return, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Teacher, yeah. Uh, we only have until this coming Thursday, right, to send the information, right? And, and then, right? To, to About send the, to, uh, to so, so, subscribe to the next uh, level. Uh, I think it was last week, was the last day. Really? Yeah, last week. They put in the WhatsApp many times. Hang on, let me see. Uh, let's see. Pain. Uh -huh. Then the last week was to complete. This week is the last week to complete the, the platform. The Here platform. Uh-huh. And even maybe last week, Tuesday, it doesn't say here in, in, in this one, it doesn't say when is the last date, only says um, that's it, only says send the documents. Uh -huh. Maybe in the email, they maybe in the email they send when was the last day to, to send. Does anybody in the group? When is the last day to send the documents? Do you know for the next course, for register the next course? I don't know. No, nobody, nobody. Did you send the documents? Uh, I already today, Edwin. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. Teacher, I sent my documents. Did you send yes. your documents? Good. Yes. Carla, I'll send my document tomorrow. Okay, Carla, so tomorrow. And you send it oh, tomorrow. Uh -huh, tomorrow. I will send tomorrow. My <laughs> okay, Sylvia. I don't remember. Uh huh. The okay. last week. The last yeah. week. Send the documents. <laughs> yeah, it's in the WhatsApp in Spanish. <laughs> in Spanish in the WhatsApp. <laughs> No, he's perdido. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. One question, Edwin. Yes. Tomorrow I will send. Okay. Okay. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. I have a big problem. Okay, Jessica. Uh, yes, because uh, I was working in platform in, in the last part mm -hmm. and I couldn't see the uh, uh, the picture the, the photo mm -hmm. uh, it says mm, it's not permit it's not it's not allowed me in the, in the the exam in the exam yes okay I couldn't I couldn't read and I cannot continue okay let me and this is in the exam right Yes. Okay, let me take a look. Uh, which part of the exam is in the listening? No, the listening is not a problem. No, it's a, let, let me check. Complete the sentence, rewrite sentence. Ah, in the reading, in the reading. Ah, uh -huh, the reading, the last last part uh, okay. at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll put it in. Uh, I'll send. I'll send a message to in this moment 
to make sure that they fix it. No se puede ver la foto. O sea, sí se ve, pero no puedo leer, lo más que soy ciega. Y bueno, no, perdón, perdón, teacher, porque yo estoy usando lentes también. O sea, no, pero no miro y tengo que acercarme. Tengo que ampliarlo. Está ciega, dice, mira. Yeah. No, pero es que, ay no, qué bárbara yo, me siento, me sentí no, bien, yo yeah. dije, sí. Ya sé, your daughter, your daughter, a pie, no, no, yo porque lo he dejado en la oficina. Uh -huh. No problem. Sí, no, 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 teacher, otro problema que tengo, eh, quiero que me dé un tips, Carla ya no dio uno y me va a servir mucho, uh -huh. pero necesito otro, fíjese. Eh, hay una parte que yo estuve haciendo de leer también lo mismo, uh -huh. pero mire, eh, leí como cuatro veces un, los artículos para poderles captar la idea. Y yo creo que ustedes miran cada eh, 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 clic que uno hace, vea, cuántos uh -huh. clics tiene al final de la plataforma, me imagino yo, y ahí miran si en verdad uno lo pasó rápido o no lo pasó rápido. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí creo que en esa hoja me va a salir cliqueada miles de veces porque no, o sea, ¿cómo puedo, ¿cómo puedo hacer para entender mejor lo que leo? Eh, la verdad que es... De, leyendo. Se, leyendo, leyendo. La única forma de ir entendiendo más es estar leyendo más. Ah, ok, sí, porque me quebré la cabeza. Yo uh -huh. sentía que no pasaba ahí, lo dejé por dos horas y al rato volví, lo mismo caía. Uh -huh. ah, entonces yo decía, no sé qué me pasa entonces, pero bueno ah pues sí, voy a tener que leer más lo que no me gusta <ríe> y, okay, y, teacher. yo voy y, a tener que oír más <ríe> okay. y probablemente ese siga la razón porque le cuesta, como no le gusta lo siente uh -huh. más pesado uh -huh. sí, que no, no me gusta leer mucho uh -huh. solo yeah. me gusta mirar ya que me digan la historia when is gonna when is gonna start the next uh, the next uh, level with this the uh, 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 advanced one uh -huh. advanced one after the vacation after after the vacation is going to begin the, the next one mm -hmm. the first week of april no uh, no the second week the first week is the vacation ah okay mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, all right <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> so you have to be ready mm -hmm. No, are you ready for vacation? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's necessary to go out, go to the beach, different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yeah, just... Teacher, if you go to the beach, you will uh, use mascara. Unless, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, yes. Si no, ya lo vamos a ver sin mascarilla. There you Igual go. a nosotros. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ay, no, que no hacemos caso. Pero uh -huh. bueno. Uh -huh. All right. Así es, hay que cuidarse. All right, guys. Have a good night. Yo prefiero night. quedarme en casa. Mejor en la casa y no tener que usar más. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you, Silvia. Es que estoy cansada. La verdad, <laughs> quiero descansar. <laughs> Okay. I see you guys tomorrow. Okay, amigo. All right. Tomorrow. Good night. Okay, Bye. Bye. See you Thank tomorrow. You Good, you night. Um, Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You're welcome, Silvia. Good night.